Hey cousin, welcome back to Better Now with Erica, me, Erica. Today we are going to discuss what it takes to become an Arkansas Notary Public signing agent, okay? We're going to start out with the Notary Public part and work our way through the signing agent. So the reason I'm creating this video is because when I was seeking information for becoming a signing agent, came to YouTube University, and none of my cousins were from Arkansas. Imagine that. We had Ohio representing. We had Cali representing. We had Georgia representing. We had, um, I think, Michigan, Ohio. Did I say Ohio already? I feel like I did. We had a lot of places, but what we did not have was Arkansas. So, I decided for my fellow Arkansas, um, here in the natural state that I would go ahead and put us on the map too. Okay, imagine that So here we go y'all now this process can be complete Completed one of two ways you can complete this process by going to nna.org and Searching at their tab says become an Arkansas agent. I think that's what it says, become an Arkansas agent. Um, you can do it through them completely. They are going to send you like back to the Arkansas portal to do this and that and then go back through them. Or you can do what I'm doing or what I, uh, excuse me, what I did. Now, what I did was I kind of bounced back and forward because I call myself taking the middleman out as much as possible. And that was really just for time's sake. Um, I really wanted to become commissioned before the summer. Um, I don't know why I wanted to do that. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I set that goal, but that's what I wanted to do. So that's what I did. So let's get started. So what exactly is a notary public? A notary public is a state commissioned official who acts as an official unbiased witness to the identity of a person who appears before the notary. Okay, this person may be taking an oath, giving a written testimony, or acknowledging his or her signature on a legal document. Um, identity is critical. The notary must be certain that the person appearing before them is who they say they, who they claim to be, excuse me. Um, personal appearance before the notary is required. So why that's important is because here in Arkansas, we don't do any of the remote um, practices. So no remote online notary. Um, no, we are not doing video conferencing and then, you know, oh, that's them, that's their ID, and, you know, we're not doing any of that. Arkansas does have a special notary certification for um, e-notaries. However, an e-notary is simply that you have a device that allows the person who is in your presence to sign off on the document, okay? That is all an e-notary is. It is nothing besides obtaining an electric signature, electronic, excuse me, an electronic signature still in your physical presence, okay? I want to make sure that we're clear about that. And also, let me give a little disclaimer. I'm going to have to figure out a disclaimer for my box. Um, the information I am providing for you, I am not in any way um, an advisory, a trainer, an advisor, excuse me, a trainer or anything of the sort. I'm simply a person who completed this process and I'm sharing information, period. Okay. okay. This is the book that I am getting most, this is the book I'm getting most of my information from. So let's go for it. What does it take to qualify to be a Arkansas notary public? Number one, you must be 18 years of age or older. Number two, you cannot have any conviction, any felony convictions on your record. Number three, you cannot have had 
your notary public commission revoked within the last 10 years. Number four, you must be able to read and write in English. Number five, you must be a resident of Arkansas. Number five has point one, two, three, or one and two. So Arkansas resident, or you could be the spouse of a military person um, who is stationed in Arkansas, or you could be a person who lives in a neighboring state, but conducts business or works in the state of Arkansas. So that takes care of that resident residency component. Then there is the national residency. You must be a United States citizen or um, have declared permanent residency here in the United States. Okay, I believe that is all of them. If there's anything I missed, um, I'll bring it up in the description. Okay, so those are the requirements for becoming a notary public. Um, as it pertains to the, um, the witnessing part, please note that you cannot be a witness for any documents that can potentially benefit you financially, whether directly or indirectly. So you cannot be um, the notary public who completes the notarial act for something like, excuse me, um, a family member's will or a power of attorney or anything like that. You cannot be the notary for that. Um, yeah, because you could potentially have some financial gain and we don't even want to play those types of games where it could be um, questionable. I think that's a fair word. Um, some other disclaimers or just kind of FYIs, FAQs that I'd like to share with you is a notary public is a honorable position. You are a state commissioned official that is being entrusted with documenting the identity of others, okay? So whether it's their signature, whether it's their person, whether it's what they said, um, you know, a written document, etc., you are saying simply by your written signature and your stamp that this is true, okay? Um, and when I say honorable, you know, times are different. And so the way I grew up, what you spoke, the phrase that comes to mind is word is bond, okay? Now my age and myself, y'all see these grades? I ain't playing with it. Um, word is bond. So that means that what I say carries some weight. What I say matters. It means something. So as a notary public, not just what I say, but where I put my name, that means this right here is the truth. You can bet your bottom dollar on it that this is the truth as far as I know. Okay. And so we want to take that responsibility seriously. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen in the news, but I did see where someone was, um, I think, I don't even I don't even want talking about a business in the news because all of that is hearsay into a proven in a court of law. And I don't want to put any kind of I just don't. So I'm gonna just not. Yeah, I'm gonna not. Anyways, we want to be careful that we don't get caught up in any in any shenanigans and that what we do, we always do in an honorable fashion. OK, I'm gonna leave that there. Y'all know what honorable is. Y'all know what. Um duties, responsibilities, legalities, laws, and all that. If you don't, you need to look that up definitely before applying for this, okay? Also, y'all take this serious. Pass your test yourself because um, YouTube University, Facebook groups, or anyone else is not going to be at the table with your clients walking them through these loan documents, okay? And people's lives literally depend on some of this. They they are depending on you to get it right. So get it right. Learn what you need to learn. Don't take the easy button. Don't shortchange yourself or others, okay? Please, I beg of you, because seriously, it's real in these streets. All right? 
Okay, so we talked about the qualifications. Now let's talk about the processes. And y'all, I'm going to just be real, real honest with you. I have done this video seriously. This is the fifth time. I'm not doing it again. So whatever you get in this one, this one is the one you're going to get, okay? I promise you that. So let's get down to it. And it's taking me 30 minutes each time. So y'all know I love you because I'm already at two and a half hours of my life doing this. Okay, so here we go. Step one, go to the NNA website and get your surety bond of $7,500. The cost of the bond is going to be $50, period. Step two, go to sos.arkansas.gov and create an account. This account is free. This is where you are going to document your name as you want it to be stated in all of your notarial acts, your certificates, your stamp. Everything is going to have your name this way. So you're also going to create like the username and password. That's for the site, but as far as your documentation. Do you want it to be first name, middle name, last name? Do you want it to just be first name, last name? Do you want it to be first name, middle initial, last name? This is where you make that decision. You, whatever you documented on your surety bond has to be the same that you're doing on this portal, okay? Let me scoot back a little bit. It has to be the same that you're doing on this portal. Okay, so after you create the account, you need to complete your exam. Now, the completing of the exam and the completing the application, they actually have to be done back to back. If you leave the portal and come back, it is going to erase your score and you will have to do the exam again. You have to pass the exam with an 80% or higher, okay? When you go to the portal the first time, you will see a download for the e-handbook. Yes, this is the handbook that you will use to assist you in completing the exam. It's a very help, it is a very helpful handbook. This is the hard copy, but the digital I also have on my phone and my computer. Okay, so that's step four. After you have completed the application, you want to print your application. You are going to take your application, the original copy, your surety bond copy, and a $20 money order you're going to submit this information to your SOS, your Secretary of State of Arkansas. You can either do this by mail or if you live in Central Arkansas and it's not too far, you can take it to the office. I took mine to the office and I got a response pretty quickly within three days if I recall correct. So in doing... Oh. <laughs> For your application, you do have to get it notarized. Now, your name on the application and your signature have to match your surety bond. All of these have to say the same thing. So for me, it's first name, middle, initial, last name. That has to be the same throughout, okay? So in saying that, then you take all of those papers after it's notarized, take all of that together, you mail it off or you drop it off at your secretary of state. If you've entered a valid email address, they will communicate with you via email to let you know. First of all, they'll send you your receipt via email and then they'll also let you know that um, they've processed your request, you've been approved and you can expect your documentation in the mail within seven to 10 business days. My experience was less than five. Um, so once you get your documentation from them, it will be your approved application. It'll be a receipt and it'll also be a oath of commission. Okay. It looks like a certificate, but it's not, not totally. <coughs> Excuse me water y'all y'all see my bottle isn't it pretty it says love i'm sorry y'all little parch okay so you get your commission i'm sorry you get your oath of commission back in the mail you are going to take this to your courthouse your courthouse is going to um 
basically do your oath of commission there. Now in the book and online and everywhere you look, it's going to say that this person is going to provide you with three copies. This is not true. They're going to provide you with two copies of your commission. Okay. Um, they also charge you $25. You can pay that by debit card. When you pay by debit or credit, it's like a three or six dollar fee. I can't remember, but it's kind of high, but it's a fee from them. So once again, it's twenty five dollars plus whatever the fee is, unless you take cash. I do believe they accept cash um, or money order. Either way. You get the gist. Take your money. Um, so you pay them. She's going to then, she or he, is going to then give you, they're going to notarize it. In most cases, if we were not in a pandemic, then it would be the official oath of commission where you swear under penalty of perjury of law that you are going to adhere to the laws as set forth for notary public in the state of Arkansas, so on and so forth. Excuse me. So once that's all done, they're going to give you your receipt. They're going to give you these two um commission documents you are now going to either mail or drop off this information back at the secretary of state for them to go ahead and do their records and um, documentation and upload everything in their system once they've done that if they like i said if they have your email address then they will respond to you via email and state um, your application is complete. You're a commit. Congratulations. You're a commissioned notary public for the state of Arkansas, etc. Um, they'll also send you your commission number via email. Now, at this point, you could go ahead and start ordering your notary stamp and your embosser if you so choose. Um, you will also get a wallet size copy of your commission, which is really handy to carry around. It looks and is, uh, as far as texture and all of that, it is very similar to your voter registration card, okay? So that is the end of your notary public. Now to become a loan signing agent, well, I'm, there's a little window in between these two for me. Um, NNA offers a notary essentials course. It is $50 and in my opinion, it's well worth it. It gives you the basics of becoming a notary, documents you will see, what they're called, etc. Um, I highly recommend it. Is it required? No. I just want to put that out there so that you know. Can you find information, YouTube University, Google, you know, yes, you can. Um, and if that's your route, amen, so be it. I'm just saying for me, that was a really good path. I have no regrets for doing so. Next up is the certification for non notary, no, for a signing agent. Now here in Arkansas, um, as far as notaries go, that's it. Like that's all they require. However, in order to get work you have for a signing agent, that is where the um, LSA or NSA, Notary Signing Agent, Loan Signing Agent um, certification comes in. Now, NNA offers this certification so independently. You can take the certification and be done. Or you can get educated, which their uh, signing agent course is a little bit more, maybe a hundred and something because you would be paying for both. You would be paying for the certification as well as for the exam or the, I'm sorry, the course and the certification, which is the certification is the exam. Um, I opted to go ahead and take the course, but I will say I took the certification test or exam first and I did pass it without taking the course, okay? I did, but do I feel like I knew enough to go out here and try to sign somebody or point to somebody's loans and, you know, have them sign? I didn't feel like that, like I should. I wouldn't even risk that. So I went ahead after passing the exam and becoming certified, I went back and paid for the course. 
Um, another thing that you have to have in order to be a working signing agent is you have to have your E and O insurance. That is errors and, and omission. Most signing services or platforms require at least $25,000. Um, I opted for $50,000 for five years and my rate was $218. I did pay that in a one-time fee. Um, I have heard other agents or um, signing agents say that they pay monthly um, not all of them go through N and A for their E and O, and um, the time limit varies. So you know you can have it for as long as your commission is good, which is ten years, um, or you can opt to do it annually, or you can opt to do. From my understanding, you can opt to do it monthly as well. Um, so those are the steps, and all of that will be handled through the NNA platform. I also do want to let you know that most, well, all of the signing agencies that I have signed up for, they all ask, are you a NNA certified signing agent? They all ask that. Are you an NNA member? Now, the membership is not a requirement. Um, it's not a requirement by NNA for you to, you know, get information and all of that. It's not required for that, nor is it required by most of the signing agencies. I think it's just a good thing to be to them, maybe, or they're just asking. I don't know what they're doing, but um, yeah. So I'm not sure if I mentioned the background check, but if I didn't, let me go ahead and say that. There is a background check requirement. It is $75, I think. Um, it can be purchased individual, independently a la carte um, versus, you know, with any of the other packages. Also, when you go to the NNA website, you will see like all these packages offering these books and all this different stuff. Um, just as a general note, usually the low one or the middle one is usually, and anytime you're offered something, <laughs> it's usually those two that you can kind of go with. Usually the, the bonus one is kind of like extra, extra. Um, so middle or the low, depending on what your needs are. Um, I do hope that I have answered all of your questions or anything that you could think of as it pertains to becoming a notary public or notary signing agent in the state of Arkansas. All right. If you have any questions that I may not have mentioned or need me um, to go in depth about anything, please feel free to go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'm here for you. I want us to all succeed. Um, if there's any videos that you would like for me to provide that are about Arkansas only um, or about anything I've seen, please go ahead and put that in the comments as well. I do have a lineup coming. My goal is to provide you a video every day for the next 30 days starting today. Well, actually, starting yesterday, um, which was really this morning. So um, anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed this content. Thank you once again for coming back to Better Now with Erica, me, Erica. And um, if it was your first time, hey, I hope you come back. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and enjoy your day. Thanks for coming.